Hey y'all, it's Anastasia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to it if you are new here. My name is Anastasia and today I am going to be sharing some tips with you for when you are traveling with your little one. So if you are a mama, I am here for you every Monday because Mondays are for the moms. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload my next video so you can get your week started right with tips, advice, and relatable mom content. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the tips. So the first thing I wanna talk about are the things that you need. So the first thing that I recommend that you have is a mirror. This allows you to see what your child is doing while you are driving. Obviously don't stare into the mirror and not pay attention to driving, that is not safe. But it allows you to see if your child is playing or if they're being fussy, if they're sleeping, etc. It's just a really great tool to have. And to go along with that, I also recommend that you have window shades to put on both sides on the windows so that way you can make sure that the sun does not get into your baby's eyes regardless of which direction you're driving in. I know for Rowan if the sun is in her eye she is not happy. I mean who is when the sun's in their eyes and you can't see. Um, so I highly recommend those and the last thing I want to recommend to y'all to have is snacks that are easy and mess free. My two favorite snacks are puffs which I have mentioned on my channel several times and I will be linking those in the description bar down below as well as pouches. Now the pouches I get I've also talked about on my channel and I'll also be linking those in the down bar below but basically it's baby food in a pouch. You don't have to have a spoon. You don't have to have a bib. It's pretty mess free and I just get her out of her car seat, sit her down next to me, she eats that in like probably five minutes and then we're back on the road. So highly recommend those two different snacks or any kind of snacks that are just super quick and easy and mess free because the last thing you want to do is have a messy baby, have to change them and also get your car messy and then have to clean that up as well. So those are the things that I recommend that you have. So now moving into the first tip, I really want to talk about what to do if your little one refuses to be in the car like if they absolutely hate it they're screaming bloody murder they're crying the entire time like they're just not having a good time something that helped me is to put your little one in the car seat and turn it into part of your daily routine it doesn't have to be a long car ride you could just go around the block but it's just to show them that they're okay and that they're safe and that it's just a new space and it helps them adapt and get used to being in the car seat so if you haven't done that already, definitely try that, especially if you are going to be going on a long trip. I would definitely start doing that a couple weeks before you leave. That way they are not like, what the hell are we doing in here? Like, why am I here? Help me, mom. Where are you? Come get me. So definitely do that. And also to go along with that, make sure you are talking to them. Let them know what's going on and that it's okay and that the car ride isn't going to last forever. You are their comfort and they know your voice very well. So if you're talking to them, it makes them feel more safe and comfortable. So I highly recommend doing that when you're trying to adjust your baby to being in a car seat and being in the car. Tip number two is to have everybody and everything ready to go before you go on a car ride. This includes making sure that your baby has a clean diaper, clean change of clothes, they just ate, and also getting your car ready. So cooling it down or warming it up depending on the weather, making sure the diaper bag is packed, packing the car up, making sure everything's ready to go before you put your baby in the car because you don't wanna try and do all these things and have them sitting in the car waiting. I know that might be like that might sound like common sense, but I've made that mistake before and she was very unhappy and was pissed basically. So I highly recommend making sure that you have everything ready to go. And to go along with that, tip number three is plan to leave before their nap time. When you leave before nap time, this allows them to get tired and fall asleep in the car. So that way it kind of gives you a break and you're not stressed out and worried about them. I know for me, when my baby falls asleep in the car, when we're traveling a good ways away, I feel so much relief and I feel like I can really actually focus on driving and getting to where we need to be when she is napping rather than when she's upset. So that is my recommendation. And to help them to fall asleep, make sure you have their favorite passy blanket, whatever it is that they love to have when they go to sleep, make sure you also have that. You, the last thing you want to do is leaving the house without those things. I've done it a time or two. Thank God we had a backup passy. But if we did not, it would have been chaos. Tip number four is to have the car seat on the opposite side of you in the back seat. So for instance, you're in the driver's side and that's the left side of the car. So you would have the baby seat, car seat on the right side of the back seat. Because I, I've had to do this times. 
um, because when I'm making long drives, I don't want to have to stop every 10 minutes to make sure she's okay or give her a passy back or whatever. But as I'm driving, okay, this is me driving, I am able to use the mirror and quickly grab her passy and put it back in her mouth or hand her a toy back. I obviously don't do this the entire car ride. I do it when it's absolutely necessary and I am very careful about it. And sometimes even just pulling over and doing that instead of getting out of the car and opening her car door and all that, like that, that just takes way too much time. And when you are traveling very far places, you need to try and save time as much as possible because your car rides are already gonna be an hour or two longer than it normally would be if you were not traveling with a child. So that is my tip. Tip number five is to have toys that are specifically for the car. Now I do like to have groups of different toys that are for the car. So having toys that your little one does not see often definitely helps to keep them entertained because to them, the toy is brand new to them and they haven't played with a lot. So it, it's very entertaining and it's very exciting and it's new. So that's my recommendation. Tip number six is to stop when you need to, to take a break if you're going on a long car ride. I typically stop halfway when I'm going to Tennessee and this allows me to not only get a break from driving, but to also like refresh and then go to the bathroom, get snacks, whatever, but also to feed Rowan, get her out of the car seat, give her a break. And it makes her happy because, oh, guess what? We're getting out of the car seat and now she's able to look at different stuff in the car and stuff like that. So highly recommend doing that if you are going on a long car trip. Tip number seven is to talk to your little one and sing to them if they are fussy. I've already mentioned this, but like I said earlier, your voice and you as their mama are their comforts. You singing to them, talking to them, being silly with them, that's gonna make them happy and entertain and feel much better and comfortable and being in the car seat. So I highly recommend that. So those are all the tips that I wanted to share with y'all for traveling with your baby. I really hope that this helps you. If you have any tips on traveling with a baby in the car that I did not cover in this video, be sure to leave those in the comment section down below because it definitely will be helping other mamas who are needing help in this area. Also, I just wanna say if you are struggling with this, it's not going to last forever and you are doing a great job, mama. You just got to keep practicing and keep working with your child on it. And eventually it won't be so difficult to travel with them. With that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it and I hope y'all found it was helpful. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell before you leave. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.